you used to go to work and come back home around 2 a.m. So in the morning, you used to send me to go clean your car. I would vacuum, take out the mats, smack them against the pole to get the dust out. And then I was maybe 14, 15, and I was doing that, and a, a kid from the neighborhood just began making fun of me. Hey, cab boy, taxi boy. That's one of those uh, experiences that made me embarrassed. At that time, my financial position was no good. Mm -hmm. So you said, I want to help you. After your 18th birthday, you can get your taxi license. We drove together for a couple of days. Right. You showed me the streets, bridges, everything. And I started college and went to law school. And I was still working part-time driving. And then I began working for a federal district court judge. The judge at that time was in his late 80s. So I used to help him carry his briefcase down. And one day, the judge called for a car service. And you came to pick him up. Yeah. I put the briefcase in the car, we waved at each other, and you drove the judge home. The next day, the judge and me, we were having lunch. He said, the driver who picked you up yesterday was my father. The judge was very upset at me that I didn't introduce him to you. I, at that point, never really liked talking about my family. We don't come from Park Avenue, and I was embarrassed that you drove a taxi cab. But not anymore. As I grew older, I'm proud. You know, I, I think you've done a great job. The bottom line is this. I got everything in my life. My friends, my family, I am happy. And in my life, if I can emulate that by a fraction, I would think that I've lived a good life. <laughs> 